I'm Travis Schneider, owner of Stuck in the Rent, and today I wanted to introduce our new product, the Skeleton Mill. We just got done designing this, got our patent all taken care of, so we're introducing it to the public. If you get it shipped to you, it'll be shipped in a box about this size. What it is is an actual replica of a real vertebrae of a spinal cord of an animal, and it will hang your trophy. In the package, you'll receive a couple different sizes of hose some zip ties, screws, and the metal bracket. We're gonna screw this metal bracket to the wall and the skeleton mount goes in like that. It just takes a Phillips screwdriver. Just lost one, so that's why you got three. You'll have to find a stud. That goes on like that, on an eyeball level. The next step is you just take the vertebrae here and slip the back of 3 8 right into the hinge. That hinge allows you to display your mount to either side. So we're going to kind of go down the list here and show you the different species you can hang on there. This was originally designed for deer, but we're going to show you the different species that it also works on. This is a small cougar skull here, and it goes on there just by gravity. It attaches right on the back of the brain hole there, slides right over to the 3 8 and is held on by leverage. If you, if you wired your bottom jaw open, I, that's the way I kind of like to display them, and you could hinge them to either side. Now I'm going to show you a smaller black bear. This one's zip tied closed, I'll just show you how it fits on there. Same thing. And also for safety, we drilled a little hole right here that you can zip tie any mount that you have. You put the zip tie right here through the back and you can zip tie it on there so that it doesn't wiggle. A bigger grizzly. What I did is just quickly zip tied the jaw so you can see what it looks like with the jaw open. Same thing. So there's the jaw hanging open. You can swing it either way to display it. Now I'll show you a smaller white-tailed deer. Also fits on there. The deer is what it was originally designed for. This is a heavier, more mature buck. This is an Aero Power Ram from New Zealand. Just pretty much anything will work on there with a Small back of the skull. The ram's one of my favorite. It really is, displays that nicely. This is a feral goat from New Zealand. It's a little bit different because the weight of the, the horn is setting back, so it will sit on there to display, but you will have to use the zip tie to hold it down, otherwise it's gonna to wanna to fall back on you. That's the only animal that I've found so far that doesn't work just off of gravity, but still a nice way to display it. And now my favorite is the mule deer. Really nice that it swings so that you can display a kicker if it has one or put it in the corner. So now I want to talk a little bit about the options. <clears throat> now I just showed you 
all the different options of species just on the 3 8 steel that's sticking out of the top here. And you can see that if it's down low, that it displays this mule deer really well because the angle of the skull is tilted down. Now with the kit, I send three different sizes of hose, three different widths of it, small, medium, and large. And by putting a thicker hose on there, you're going to have the ability to adjust your skull like this. So I'll show you if you kind of take a mental note of the angle of that skull. I like the medium one in most deer situations. It's a pretty tight fit, but you stick that on there. Now, when I put my mule deer on there, the skull is a little bit different. So I'll go all the way through on this one and show you where I put the zip tie. It's actually easiest to do this off the wall. So you just pick up off the hinge, turn the deer upside down. On this buck, I have knocked out the ear cavities and I can show you how to do that in a minute. You just go through there. It's easier if you set this down. This is a good safety tip. It's out of the way. You clip the tail there, it's out of the way. You don't really notice it. But this way, if you know that that's the animal you want to put up there, it's permanent. If your kid bumps it with a basketball or something, it's not going to knock the skull off. And that way it's solid. I put that on just as a safety feature, but it does work just with gravity. The last thing I wanted to show you is you can see how I've got a great big hole here to put my zip tie. On some deer, it's harder than others, so I'll show you on a, I'll show you on a deer that does not have it ripped out yet. You. you could put it through this cavity there, and that works just fine. But what I like to do on all mine when I'm cleaning them out, most taxidermists will know that, is if you just pop these, that's a little brain cavity back there. They pop at uh, ear cavity. They pop out really easy, especially when they're fresh. And that gives you a really nice place to put that zip tie. And that's going to hold the skull the best. A couple more options I'd like to tell you about that you can do with the new skeleton mount here that we invented. The, this is a prototype, one of the first models. So one of the things we're working on is this is going to be powder coated. We are working to match the color slightly better on the average of most skulls, so more of an ivory cover instead of a brilliant white. And the other option is this plastic is a paintable product. So there is a mold release on here just because of the way we had to manufacture it. So you can spray this with any kind of degreaser, wash it with soap and water, let it dry, and you will be able to spray paint this any color you want. The other really cool option that we offer, a good friend of mine has a dipping tank and is able to hydro dip any color on this skeleton and your skull if you want to. So lots of options out there. Uh, we've had really good feedback with this idea and we're working on marketing it. You can buy these on our website at www.stuckintherut.com.